Have you tried this exercise? Well, now's the time. Before we begin, let's take a sec and hear a few words from our sponsor, CG Creator Certification. So who or what is CG Creator Certification? It's an exam you take to test your creator skill. May it be 2D, 3D, movies, games, and other disciplines alike. Now, this certification is recognized by over 70 Japanese companies. While this certification alone does not assure employment in any of the studios, it is a good gauge to see a creator's current level. So if you have a dream or goal to work in Japan, go check out CG Creator Certification now. But of course, with our little help, we are giving you a deal by giving 250 pesos off just by using code BRUSHPOINT. Again, that's code BRUSHPOINT at checkout. Now back to the video. Master studies or copying from the masters is an overlooked exercise and practice among artists. We will not progress if we do not look from where things came from. So as an artist, we must not overlook the importance of not only copying but also learning from the masters themselves. Gaya ng sabi ni Ken Goshen, a contemporary artist and educator, if we expect painters to become original before becoming skilled, it's the equivalent of expecting someone to write poetry before learning grammar. And tulad din ng ibang mga disciplines like sports and music, people learn and mimic the greats before doing their own thing. Like boxers trying to mimic Pacquiao or singers who try pieces by Lea Salonga. We not only get inspired by these master's skills, but we suddenly have a goal to be good, if not better, than our idols. So again, I'm Salonganisa, back with another tips video brought to you by Brushpoint Academy. So in this video, we will talk about the benefits and what to learn from master studies. So at number one, we have technique or skill. Isa sa mga pinaka-importante yung mapupulit natin sa mga master studies ay yung makakuha tayo ng mga techniques. And not just any techniques, techniques nila as they made their paintings. Dito natin makikita paano nila nahulma or paano nila nagawa masterfully ang mga paintings nila na ngayon di lang natin tinitignan at tinahangal, pati na rin inaaral. And as starting artists who are very hungry to learn new techniques, you must also look at the older techniques in order to know where and how the newer techniques are developed. At dahil mahilig din tayo as starting artists to skip around and get quick tips from people knowledgeable, master studies are one way to gain these tips that would actually last with us till the very end. Now at number two, memory. When we say memory, it is about retaining information in our brains that we can recall and use whenever we need to. Ito din yung mga tools natin sa toolbox na maaari natin damputin kung meron man tayong kailangan ayusin or kalikutin. And like all tools, we get the feeling of getting used to using them or what you may know as muscle memory. So in studying master paintings, we not only get techniques and learn new skills, but we also improve our hands by moving them or mimicking the hands of the masters. Magkakaroon lang tayo of course ng itong sense of memory if we get the sense or sensation of moving our hands and applying what we see in their work onto our own canvases. Now at number 3, your eye. Hand and eye go hand in hand in any craft. May it be sports and games, music, and even cooking. So with studying the masters, we get to improve not only our hands, but we get to improve our decision making even with the bonus of improving our eye for taste. So pagtingin natin ng mas malalim sa mga paintings and understanding every stroke and why they did a certain thing, we get a new sense of what is correct and what we can improve and work on sa sarili nating mga work. Number four, style. Now we have talked about style in a previous video, but this is also what we mean when we say we get inspiration from other artists, especially the masters. So in our search in creating our own styles, copying different masters definitely will help in this department. Lalo na kapag napag-merge na rin natin yung mga iba't ibang styles, habits, techniques, tastes, and eyes of different masters. And last but not least, number 5, Fundamentals. Siyempre, hindi matatapos tong video na to without mentioning that we can learn the fundamentals from the masters. This is why they are called the masters because they have the uttermost and masterful understanding of the fundamentals. May it be abstract, expressionism, and surrealism, they have the greatest understanding to be able to bend or even break the rules in which we play on. So kahit anong mangyari, makikita at mapapansin natin ang skills nila as masters when it comes to the fundamentals. 
So for the recap, maganda yung sinabi ni Isaac Newton on how we can move progressively or forwards. In this quote, he says, If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. So we as artists will build on top of each other's techniques, advancing the field of painting. So that has been our tips on what to learn from master studies. I am again Salonganisa, and the masterful work you see playing in the background is the work of none other than Kabuhika. See you guys next time! That's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like and maybe even share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on new content. Till next time, bye!